In this video, we're going to be taking over Paris with our army. And we're also going to be setting up some medical facilities just like you can in City Skylines. It's going to be incredible. As far as I'm aware, this has never been done on YouTube before, so I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get started. So this is our capital city, Berlin. And this is the state we left it in. Now, I asked in the previous video, should we invade North and take over Paris, which is near a strategic resource, which is going to be that weapons factory? Or should we invade South to claim better strategic defences? And 78% of you said that we should invade Paris. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So what needs to happen is we're going to go to every one of these cities and we're going to bring all of the soldiers that they can offer over to the battlegrounds. We're going to need a big one here because it's such a big capital city. We're going to have to take it over with a lot of force. And for that, we're going to need tanks and soldiers. The soldiers will be the easy part because we already have the transport network set up. But the tanks might be a little bit different because now we have those, or at least the basic tanks. Uh, we are going to have to supply the industries with the stuff they need, which is going to be steel. And while we do have a steel hub going... We haven't got a whole lot of it. We've only got 185 pieces sitting around. So we're going to have to see how it goes and take it steady on that. But the first thing is first, we need to establish the soldiers. How are the soldiers going to get, say, from over here all the way over to the Paris battlegrounds? Well, let's think about this for a second. We can bring all of the surrounding cities in by bus. That's not an issue. So Cologne, Strasbourg, we can bring by bus. Maybe even Hanover, but not so sure about that one. Probably better by train because it's a bit further away. And then the cities that are surrounding Berlin, like Hanover, Munich, Vienna and Krakow, we can bring all of the soldiers to Berlin, then ship them out via Berlin. As for the soldiers from Cluj and Budapest, there's also that platform I made to pick up the soldiers from when we actually invaded Cluj. So we've still got that available. We can reuse it. We'll grab the soldiers from Vienna as well. I'm going to take these by bus because it's not too far of a distance to go. So that's an easy job. We'll go find the military base. So we'll pick these soldiers up here. So this is Vienna soldiers to Berlin. Last two cities to connect, Munich and Hanover. Boom, boom. Now that is every single city connected to the capital or straight to the battleground by bus. We're now going to send all of those troops over to the battleground with a new line from Berlin. And before we bring soldiers, we're going to need munitions and probably some healthcare. Now I bet you're wondering, Hushy, how do you do healthcare in Transport Fever 2? I've seen it in City Skylines and it's really cool. But you can't do that in Transport Fever 2 because this game is about transport, right? Well, I found this mod which is incredible. Check this out. So there's a very good reason that I built this next to this little house here that's just randomly chilling. And that's because we can do this. And we now have a hospital. Oh yeah. This is going to come in so handy on the front lines. Thing is though, it's only a small hospital. We only got two ambulances. So how about for the critical people in a big emergency? How about we go back over to Berlin and we construct a bigger hospital over in Berlin? How about that? This is going to be a pricey one. One million dollars to place this in. But we now have our hospital. Look at that. Excellent. Plenty more mechanized ambulances, lots of stuff to go by, also lots of beds. But before we start wasting money employing ambulance drivers and stuff like that, we need to get some ammo so we can send the soldiers to fight so it actually has a purpose before we invest more into the medical. Now, I think from last video, we've already been stockpiling weapons. So if we look in here, let's see what we've got. So it's looking like every month or so, we're making about 30 ish weapons in our stockpile. And so because we already have this stockpile here and these munitions actually fit on board these same types of train cars, we can repurpose this specific train to carry them back all the way to its origin point where it's picking up the steel. And then if we get another train, we can transfer it onto this track here and then send that straight down the line. So a new line from there and that's going to go over to the battleground, drop it off there. Once again, an alternate platform. Now, what about this? If we're shipping out soldiers over here from this train station and we're going to drop them over at the battleground, those trucks are going to return empty on the way back. What if on the way back they picked up any injured troops and took them to here before going back to the start and picking up more soldiers? And now I can't use the ambulance symbol because I believe that's a war crime. So they might be targeted even if they are injured, but let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. It saves us money. So, uh, which we need. Look at that. Minus two million. Yikes. So this is going to cost us a lot of money, but we got 15 mil. So it's probably going to work. So 12, we're going to need some cargo trucks and we're going to need some passenger trucks. Passengers, of course, for the soldiers and the cargo is going to be for the weapons. We need to do both of these at the same time. We don't want a repeat of the last battle where my soldiers didn't have any ammo. That was rough. They got sorted. But um, yeah, I think we can do this this time. We got the resources to it. We got the money and we got the trains. We'll work our way backwards down the line. So this is going to be soldier and weapons next. We don't want to connect weapons one because that would begin the attack technically because we would start supplying the battleground with ammo, but no soldiers to use it. So we don't want to do that. So we'll do soldiers first. Soldier 11 is this train that goes over to Berlin. That's an easy one. Let's do that. And look at that. The beautiful PLM 
The pride of our empire is sitting in storage. It's already loaded with some passenger cars. We can stick that straight onto the line. Soldier 11. And now time for some trains, of course. Now we need two trains, one from Krakow to Berlin and one from Budapest to Berlin. Now we have one train in storage, which is a sort of commuter style train. So I just put that on the shortest route, which is going to be Krakow to Berlin. That's a nice and easy one. We'll do that straight away because that's already in storage. We're going to now buy a new train. We'd actually get some new trains unlocked between episodes. Let's check those out. We actually got this new train here, the S1 KPEV and the Prussian S3. This is going to be way out of our price range. We can't maintain this. However, the PLM coming at 270k, this is only 275 and it goes like 30 miles an hour faster. I can't complain with that, to be honest with you. So I might have to go with this guy, you know, let's go with one of those. 50 kilometers an hour on these guys, probably not going to cut it. So we'll get a new train car as well to go with that. At only 10 kilometers an hour less and decently cheap, we'll get some Putalovs, I think. I'm looking at this here and I'm thinking there's probably going to be much more people in Berlin wanting to go to the battleground than there is people going from Budapest to Berlin. Let's take off the PLM which is now slightly slower than this new train. We can put that train onto the Budapest to Berlin route and we can put the new train Berlin to battleground. That's better. This is going to be so much carnage I bet you but it's going to go well hopefully. We're going to need the one last train that's going to connect things together. Now the munitions are already going to get taken by this train over to the steel factory but we need to pick them up now with another train that's going to take them from here on weapons line one. It's going to be quite a long distance train so we're going to need some decent trains for this. Probably going to not use the new train we unlock because that is getting a little bit expensive. But what we can use is going to be the PLM. We'll get a brand new one of these guys. Welcome to the network and you go 60 kilometers an hour so we can match that in speed. Well, pretty much with 50 there and you're going to carry munitions as well. So 10, I think we'll go for. Buy that. We're going to stick that onto weapons one. That is everything complete now. The cherry on the cake to buy some ambulances for the hospital. Super easy. Buy that there. And that goes to there. That's going to be plus one. Buy vehicles. We're going to grab an ambulance, which should be lurking around here somewhere. There it is. And we will get the warning lights on, I think. Uh, we'll go for maybe just one of these guys. I don't think we're going to go crazy with it. We'll stick that onto the line. And that is now every single vehicle. Look at them. They're all raring to go inside the depot there. That's every single vehicle we're going to need for this battle. Let's cross your fingers, everyone. What do you think in the comments? Are we going to take over Paris today? I really hope so. And by the way, if you're wondering why I bought everything in the capital city, there's a rule in this where you can only buy inside the zone of your capital city. And that's why that exists. I think it's time to go. Let's go in three, two, one, pressing the button. There we go. All the Whoa, and the battle's begun. That was fast. Um, let's just have a look at the city over here. The doors have opened up. The trains are on their way out. Looking forward to see them. Let's have a look at the road depot as well. How are we looking over here? It's already a traffic jam. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Anyway, it's time for my favorite comment from the last video in the series, and we're keeping it simple this time. We got a comment from M4X198 who says, please continue this series. I love to watch it. You got it, buddy. We're here. Enjoy. Now let's get back over to the battle in Paris. Well, we're losing. <laughs> That's what's happening. We're in the losing category. We're not that still, mate. That's winning. This is losing. And we're on the lower end of that because nothing's been delivered. Why has nothing been delivered? Let's check it out. Well, first of all, where are the vehicles? They're still, they're still coming. There's this stupid man in the way. Luke White, with your little horse, you are blocking the military convoy. Go away. And once again down here, Mr. Louis Stewart, Mrs. Olivia Mason, and Mrs. Willow Jackson. Get out of the way. You're blocking an ambulance. I think the most crucial thing is where are the trains? It's just like a desolate wasteland here. What are you doing? You're on your, you're on the way. Okay. Is there anything to be picked up though? No, there's no weapons here. Why is there no weapons here? Where is the train picking up the weapons? There's 12 pieces of ammo. 12? That's nothing. You expect me to fight a war with 12 guns? Is that it? <laughs> you must be joking. Looks like we've got a choke point here. Actually, the, the munitions train's only a, a prowse. We need to change that like now. Why are we still using this commuter train on this big train? That's, this train is kind of holding up the whole empire. I'm going to really quick take this back to the depot and just switch out the train. Oh yeah, buddy. That's 38 weapons coming in. We're getting better. We're getting better. That's good. We even got two tanks being made. That's really good. Do we have anyone to operate them? A whole 13. Let's go. <laughs> My intel here is telling me that this battle is going to happen in April. So we're going to have to have a good army before then. Otherwise, we're probably going to get dominated. Good thing we have spies, eh? Well, looks like morale is super low in Budapest. 
we have a total of one soldier. <laughs> that one guy, he's a, he's a one-man army. And that's from Budapest and Cluj. We just captured their land and moved in. I guess they don't want anything to do with us. But Budapest, our one guy, my heart goes out to you. Leave a comment saying one-man army if you made it this far. <laughs> in fact, due to all this steel that's being required, the demand has absolutely shot up for iron. We got so much iron being waited to deliver here. Can we do something about that? I think we had a spare train, didn't we? Let's check that out. We do. We have a spare prowse. Why don't we do that then? That's all right. Let's grab some of these. I mean, yes, it technically is going to clog the track up a little bit more, but at the same time, it might be worth it for the extra steel because I mean, get extra munitions. So I think it's a worthy investment. That's what I like to see. Ammo and soldiers waiting to go. We actually might do this. How many have we got? We've got 43 soldiers, but we're overflowing. Okay, we've got to expand. Have a storage area for the soldiers. They can go there. Can we put one here? Yes, we can. Put there? Yes, we can. Okay, how are we, how are we now? Got 42 soldiers, 10 weapons. So we got one tank, 42 soldiers. That's all right. And what have we got on the battleground? We got nine, okay, nine guns, 53 soldiers. That's decent, actually. That's all right. We can keep things going with that. That's enough to have a fight. We, we, like, it's, that's enough to defend ourselves. We, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Supply on. Exactly what I wanted as well. Steel and weapons on the same train going back. Now that steel can be turned into weapons at the place we're going. Excellent. We're running out of time though. It's March the 16th. April is when the battle is supposed to happen. The stuff's here. Got another train coming in as well. Brilliant. 49 soldiers. Get them in there. Don't know how you fit 16 people on board that thing. But you're going to do it. Don't, I'm not going to ask questions. Oh, actual stuff's here for a change. That's so good. Very little weapons once again. It's a big issue with me. It's a recurring theme. There's just never any weapons. But we got, <laughs> we got some men. Uh, we got a few a few weapons laying around. Not too bad. We're getting there as well. We're better than last time anyway, aren't we? We were over here last time, so we're, we're nearly at a stalemate. <laughs> They're still wiping the floor with us, but <laughs> but uh, we're better than we were. More people. Yes, excellent. Get them in. Get some more weapons in as well, please. Come on. Out of the way. You've, you've, you've delivered. Go on. Get gone. Need some weapons now. Seven of them. They're coming in. Seven more. Excellent. People getting supplied. Brilliant stuff. More? Better than nothing. Better than nothing. It's still going. What are you, what, what's in here? 15, 15, no, 16 people, 18, empty, 7, okay, more weapons are needed, definitely, more weapons, what can we do? Because we have this new iron train coming in, I believe we're making more steel now, which means we should be able to upgrade or get a new train to transport to the battlegrounds, I think, because there's, look, there's like 60 different things on here total, and how big is our train? Let's check it out, uh, you are... About 40. So we could upgrade this or we could have a new train. Because the power ratio is not going to go down, I'm going to send this guy to the depot extremely quickly and add some more train cars to it. Just a, just a couple more, maybe five. And then we should be able to carry everything on here. Wherever well, the roads are getting pretty hectic, damn. Anyway, I've got this new train. It's on the line here. It should be able to carry pretty much everything on here. That's, uh, that's a full train. Brilliant. And there's still stuff left over, but not a lot, which is about right. Okay, this is what we need. We need this train to be over at the battleground right now is what we need. Oh, I'm getting excited. Can we? Be oh, I'm so looking forward to beating this. This has been so hard. Like, actually, on a real boat, this has been so hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. The oh, but Bucharest has just started attacking Kluge. Uh, well, um, I'm sorry, guys. I I've got bigger priorities right now than a small city. I've got Paris to take over, so I'm going to have to let you go. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I you're not my focus right now. Maybe in the future. <laughs> oh, I am cruel. That's that's war. That's war. War is cruel. <laughs> war is cruel, I guess. Oh my god! Oh, it's a stroke of luck. They've delayed the plan. They've delayed the battle. They're not attacking. We would have lost. Look, we only we're still losing. That might have saved us. I think we would have lost that battle completely if they attacked. If only they knew. Oh my days. Whew. Well, we're not. It's not over yet. <laughs> okay, so I paused and I had to think, and I've actually done something genius. We now have an insane amount of ammo coming in because this train is now a much better brand of train. It's also got a lot faster cars to go on the back of it. And all the way down the line, I've done this to every single track that contributes. This train as well, it's so fast, even the production hasn't filled up all these carriages yet. Which is okay, to be honest, I don't mind, as long as we're getting some over there. Three tanks is good reinforcements. I also upgraded these guys to be PLMs, and they now carry better carriages on the back that are going to carry the iron to the steel much faster. Come with that together, and the train can now carry steel and ammo 
over to the battleground, drop it all off here, and this is where it's going to get picked up and taken to the battlefield. So we've got a variety of goods on here. We've got tanks, ammo, soldiers, and steel. The steel is then going to this munitions factory down here, which is only a small little factory. It's not very fast at producing things. As you can see, not very good, but at least it's producing something. And that little extra bit is really useful. Because it's close by, if we're waiting for a big shipment of goods, at least we've got something coming into the battleground. The tanks are arriving and then they get transferred onto this platform where the train picks them up to the battleground. This guy is going to grab some more steel now and then return with more ammo and repeat the process. Ah, and it looks like Italy has joined the war but against us and they're attacking uh, Milan by Rome. Interesting. But we got to focus on this war for now. we gotta, we got to take over Paris because those guys are not liking us. Of course, I mean, we are fighting them. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for a minute and if there's any empty vehicles, I'm going to manually tell them to go. So the guys with actual stuff can drop off easier. What are we doing other than waiting around if there's nothing inside the vehicle to drop off? So you can go, buddy. And this should hopefully speed up the process of winning this war because we could supply more things. It might literally come down to me managing this site and bossing these people around to be quicker. Looks like another shipment's coming in. Three tanks. Is it going to be enough reinforcements? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It might be tricky. We're going up a lot here. My game's stuttering a little bit because it's trying to work out all the uh, logistics of who's going to win. Seven weapons. Okay, one soldier. No soldiers, you can turn around. Yeah, so uh, I moved this over a little bit. And now the traffic might flow slightly better, I'm thinking. Maybe we can see, hopefully. Come on, we need some weapons. Time's ticking away. There's literally two days left in game before this battle commences. And it will, it will literally be 50-50 on who wins this battle. Unless we can cross this line. But we're so close. Look at that. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> Here we go. More, more ammo. Here we go. Load it in. Load it in. Good job, lads. Anything else? Okay, we're getting places. We're so close to that quota. If we can hit that, we're probably going to win. Please, come on. Eight soldiers, two guns. Seven soldiers, one gun. We're so close to that line. That's crazy. All we have to do is penetrate their lines here. We are literally like a meter away from this. Where's the ammo? Have we run out of ammo? Please. Come on. Please, have we not run out of ammo at that stage? You can't, you can't be serious. With that close. Oh, yes. We're penetrating their lines. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're advancing. The soldiers are going in. <laughs> yes. This is what I wanted to happen. Okay, you can go, buddy. You're empty. We got three guns inbound. You've got nothing, so you can turn around. That's three more guns on site. Okay, we're advancing. The men are going. Because we had just enough, we're holding them off. It's, it's April the 13th. We've kept it going for another day after that, but now we're losing. We've lost a few soldiers, and we haven't got much ammo left, so we're going to have to get some more in. We need this guy to come through very quickly. There's more soldiers just been dropped off. We've got 30 soldiers just been dropped off. We need some ammo. There's seven in here. Seven guns inbound. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. That's a seven more. We're back in the game. Can we cross this line again? Can we start advancing into the territory once again? We're actually winning. We're over the halfway point. But time's ticking. And if we leave things going too much longer, they're going to invade. And we are going to struggle because we don't have the units here we need. Only three guns on site right now. Oof, this is very tense. I'm very stressed out, <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. Okay, more weapons. Bring them in. Bring them in. We're going back up again. Oh, they're, they're, giving a good, they're giving us a good fight, these Frenchies. They're giving us a good fight. It's going back and forward just like that. Well, we've not done bad. We've held them off a whole week so far. April the 20th. We're running out of reserve stuff, though. Only one soldier. <laughs> just one bloke. The rest of them are on the active battleground. They're fighting it out. It's almost going back to stalemate, though. They're giving us such a hard fight right now. This is crazy. Go, buddy, go. More ammo. Yes. Look at that. That's awesome. 15 soldiers, 7, 14, 21 ammo. Excellent. Now we have no reserve soldiers, but six reserve guns. That's okay. We're going to get some more, I'm sure. It's going well. I can't believe we've held off this long. I really can't. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to employ someone to organize the cargo. I'll build a little house just so they can use it as a storage place so we don't actually overflow platforms. Because that'd be a nightmare. Imagine we got so much stuff delivered that we couldn't store it and we had to throw it away and we need it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get a little house. That should hopefully help. How much does that hold? 75. That should do the job. What are you doing, bro? Uh, this is definitely not allowed. Why is the ambience carrying weapons? Uh, yeah, you know what? That's probably not a good thing. Let's change that. Our trains are arriving back at the steel hub. And look at this. Plenty of stock. This might even fill the whole train up and leave some behind. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Looking good. Plenty of tanks on there. Train is full. Ammo left behind, which is not great, but pretty decent. Five tanks off the battleground. Exactly what we need. This is getting better and better. A sudden peace has stricken. Did we lose or did we win? Well, we won. The battle's over. We caused a massive mess. 
but Paris is in our hands. And now we're definitely going to be attacked from Nantes and Lyon. 100% those guys are going to be pissed. We just stole their capital. Uh, so yeah, we're going to expect a lot of heavy attacking, but I think we should be able to hold it off. Especially now we got this. Look at this! Brand new Paris Weapons Factory unlocked. Oh yeah. I am feeling, honestly, I'm feeling really stressed. The battle's not over. Paris is taken, but these two, these three places even, uh, still part of France. And they aren't going to be happy we stole their capital. They're going to want to liberate their brothers, so we're going to have to be really careful in the coming episodes. I want you guys to choose what we should do next. So my question to you, should we fortify Paris or... Should we grow Berlin and make it stronger to make more soldiers so we can attack elsewhere? Are we a defensive nation or an offensive nation? Let me know in the community section on my channel. Go vote now as this is only active until the next episode. But I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. All this stuff about war over here, we need to tone down a little bit because we're wasting lots of money. So I'm going to crack on with that. Make sure you guys leave a comment if you want to be featured in the next video and I'll see you then.